And hello everyone, Kimina here, and today we will do a video about the 4th pick in uh, Draft League Pokemon. So, why the 4th pick? It's because usually when people draft, the first 3 picks are pretty good and goes pretty well together, because there is a lot of video like, or tutorial like, okay, draft a core, a good core, a fairy steel dragon core, a water, grass, fire core, and usually it's good enough to bring, to be able to be bring the, into a good draft league, but then <coughs> the fourth pick could make the draft very bad because if it does not go well with the first three pick, your draft is pretty well is pretty much decided at this point. So the fourth pick is more about being able to differentiate between a bad draft and a middle draft. The fifth pick is really interesting too uh, because it differentiates between middle draft and good draft. And the fourth pick is really important, and I maybe do another video like this in the future. So this will be like a quiz. So how, we, how is it a quiz? Uh, there will be some rule. So I will do a presentation of a free Pokemon core. I will do a presentation of four of them. There will be four levels of difficulty from easiest to hardest to have some challenges for all level of Pokemon player, of Pokemon Draft League player. And you will be able to pause the video to look up the fourth pick you will do with this core. So there are some rules. First, we'll do a draft in uh, 9G Nat Dex because there is more options, there is more variety. Uh, also, yeah, I didn't precise it, but Terra rules, the the move rules and all of those things we don't really care about. It's like, like, like just classic 9G9 decks, uh, don't really care about Terra Captain and all. <coughs> we'll sort that afterwards anyway. And because it's the fourth pick, there will be a lot of Pokémon who will be picked before. Usually the top tier mon. But as there is a lot of different tier lists, we'll just ban the 9G Nidex Oemon and Ubers that are probably all picked anyway at this point. Like there is stuff like Red Tusk in this, Tapu Coco, Dragapult, all of those will be picked anyway. Iron Valiant will be picked anyway in the first three picks in your draft, so you will you won't be able to use them. So we will start now also yeah afterwards I will present like some Pokemon that I really like with it. And explain why, obviously. And you can, and if the Pokemon you really wanted with this core does not show in this video, you can comment it down below, it's fine. Uh, I will uh, explain why afterwards, if it's good or not. Uh, because there are some good mods that I didn't, that I won't present because I can't present any, any every mod that is good. So we'll discuss, uh, we'll discuss this afterwards. So the first core is level 1 core. Pretty classic, pretty basic stuff. Gardevoir Mega, High Dragon, Ferrothorn. So it's a good Fairy Steel Dragon core with some beginning of other cores. And yeah, you can pause the video now. Okay, so we're back. So this core is pretty simple because it's level one, so anyone can guess what type of one you will bring and the most obvious will be a strong physically offensive fighting type <coughs> so why it's because you already have a fairy steel dragon core and you have a beginning of a uh, psychic dark fighting core which is really interesting yeah sorry i was looking up something R so really interesting and fighting type here is really good so here i will pick quakaval uh, why Quakaval specifically? Because first, it brings another core that you will that you could do in the fifth pick. So, Fire, Water, Grass. Also, can the Psychic uh, Dark uh, Fighting core? Obviously, didn't mention it. And it's a good mod that has a lot of utility in this draft. So, Rapid Spin with Ferroton complements it very well. It's very good because you can just pike Hazard and Rocks. Uh, U-turn is very good with Fight Dragon with Guard of Omega. You can play him Moxie Scarf. You can play him uh, as a setup variant. You can play him Bond. Some options, there is a lot of options. Uh, and also, it's. Mm, how to say this? It's a, yeah, it's a different speed tier than Guard of Omega and Night Dragon. So Guard of Omega is 100, Night Dragon 98, and Quakaval is. 85, so a different speed tier. S that means that you have more variety for your opponent to bring in. Uh, well, not exactly variety, but more. Uh, your opponent needs to build uh, around this speed tier 
and will not be able to bring a lot of things. For example, you won't bring a GRC modest here because you have Crocaval. You will bring a GRC timid if you bring a speedy GRC. Two other mods that can be great here is first Buzzwall. So why Buzzwall? Because pretty much the same thing as Crocaval except rapid spin, but it's good here due to Feral Turn. So Feral Turn is a grass type that is not weak to Earthquake but doesn't resist ground move and Buzzwall resists Earthquake and you want a good Earthquake resist. You can get later on a Flying type or uh, you already have a Levitate I mean and you can get afterwards a Flying type but with Ferroton generally you want like a good Bug type to uh, switch into the ground move and Buzzwall is overall very good too. And Infernape, same thing, can be played bond. Infernape here is valued for its versatility because you can also play him specially offensive. And it's not a bad thing to have a specially offensive mon here with this free first mon because Eye Dragon can be played offensively uh, with Dragon Dance, physically offensive. And Guard of Omega has Psy Shock. So, yeah, also, uh, also Infernape brings two other stuff. First, fire type for the fire water grass core with like a bulky water afterwards. And uh, another rocker, so you will have three good stealth rock option, which is pretty strong. Some other mon I could think about is Crobat. Uh, Crobat is also very good here because of its speed tier. Because 130 speed, you turn. You U-turn into Eye Dragon, you U-turn into Guard of Omega, you don't need a Scarf in this situation if you have Crobat, so pretty good. And also it's just a mod that resists Fairy type for Eye Dragon, so really interesting mod here. Who is also a good Wall Breaker. Uh, no, not Wall Breaker, sorry, a Stall Breaker. For, like, for example, if it's a Blissé, Blissé is really annoying against your free first mod. Crobat deals with Blissé like, extremely easily. Another one who could be interesting here is Chandelur. Chandelur goes very well defensively with Eye Dragon. Uh, rock type moves are the only thing not resisted by one of them. Uh, goes very well also with Ferrothorn because it resists fire and fighting moves. And Ferrothorn resists uh, water moves and rock move, yeah. And good complementary option with Guard of Omega offensively. A pretty good man, like. Can deal with the steel types, can deal with a lot of stuff. Pretty good mode overall. And goes well with this draft. So these are the I will three main options I would say. So physically offensive fighting type is what you want here. But if you don't have one available or if you know you will have one available later, you can take Crobat, you can take Chandelure. It's still fine. It's not the best option. But it's still a good option available. And yeah, I said Chandelure, but for example, something like. Uh, uh, I don't remember the mon. Yeah, fuck. Uh, not Arma Rouge, but the other one with Bitter Blade. The physically offensive uh, Ghost Fire type. But I think it's OU anyway. Let me check. I check. I check fast. Is it OU? Talk. Sorry. Fire type. Type. Yeah, Serial Edge. No, Serial Edge is U. So yeah, so Serial Edge works here, with, with works here too. Okay. And now we'll get into the core of level 2. So you see this is more difficult than the classic Fairy Steel Dragon 1 when you want a fighting type. Here you have more difficulties. It's Landorus, Zera Aura, Manafi. So Hyper Offensive Core. What would you like with this? I will, you can pause the video now. Okay, we're back. And yeah, this is an extremely hyper offensive core. Probably you will play screen with this because there is a lot of setup options. There is free momentum mon and yeah, pretty good core offensively. And what I would recommend picking here is a good Dragon Dancer. So why a Dragon Dancer? It's because you already have like Sword Dance, you already have Bulk Up, you already have Rock Polish, even now Nandalusti has Nasty Plot, Calmind, so lot of setup options. Manafi, obviously, Take Glow, Calmind. <coughs> the three of them have momentum, and having another setup option 
another strong set of options can do wonders for your draft. Because here, with a good Dragon Dancer, you will use screens afterwards. Pr you will probably pick Klefki, Grim Snarl, uh, Bronzong, you know, good screen setters. You will use them to uh, just set up and mode on your opponent. And you can set up with anything that you want that could be good against your opposing draft. Because, for example, if Lando T is not a good setup option, Manafi can be one, and the Dragon Dancer can be one too, so you have more versatility in what you can bring offensively. In terms of Dragon Dancer, I think Axorus is the best one here, due to Moldbreaker. You will have a setup offensive draft, and Moldbreaker is really really strong, because it can break through like a Dondozo with Unaware, or a Quaxire with Unaware. Like for example, Quaxire Rindoberry can be a good bring here, and can deal with uh, Zera Aura and Manafi a bit, but cannot deal at all with Axorus. <coughs> also Axorus has Sword Dance, so another Sword Dance option. Quite fast too, speed is not really what you want here, because you will still have a Dragon Dancer. And most importantly, it has a strong priority in uh, first impression. That is really needed here, a good priority is really important. Backscalibur is the same thing. I think Backscalibur here is kind of the weaker version of Axorus. For this draft specifically, I mean, it's better for more balanced draft, but for more offensive draft, I prefer the direct offensive pressure of Axorus. But Backscalibur can set up. is stronger with its setup option because of Icicle Spear and Loaded Dice. But overall, and yeah, also has Ice Shard, but both of them are fine. And the third option here would be Altair Mega with Dragon Dance, too, obviously. Really good mod can do a lot for this team, heal bell, stuff, and can tank some offensive um, pressure from your opponents. So that your opponent, for example, if he also has an hyper offense, you will get a kill, he will get a kill, you will get a kill, he will get a kill, and if you bring Alter Mega on the field, he will not get a kill immediately. You will have, you will have to, he, will, he will have to wait one turn, you know? So you get, get a kill while he tries to kill your Alter Mega. Kind of not said well, but pretty much the basic of it. Another option is Venus Omega, so Venus Omega Bulky Mon, who goes extremely well with this type of offensive uh, draft, hyper offensive draft. Why? It's because, same thing as Alter Omega, you can't kill him in one turn. On the other side, he can't kill you in one turn. If, like, for example, Opponent has an Azumarill, he can kill the Azumarill in one turn, while the Azumarill cannot kill you in one turn, and he can kill any of the three other that you have here in one turn. Basically. Uh, also, he's a very good bring against like opposing grass type and opposing water type that you had some difficulty dealing with. Like, Zara is great and all, but it's not a skull switch in. Can be in some situation, but not in a lot of them. And also has a lot of versatility with Reflect Light Screen, it learns both. This shield can be good, and uh, it removes the T-Spikes that are very annoying for Manafi and Zerara. Zerara, Rarara. Ra, ra. <laughs> Another option I will consider here is Metagross. So Metagross is a screen setter. <laughs> you will probably play him either like Screen Rock Explosion, or Screen Rock Bullet Punch, or something like that. Or uh, weakness agility, uh, weakness policy agility set. Why? Because weakness agility, weakness policy agility, is a good offensive bring that you can have to your table. And so, while the dragon dancer here is really offensive, like you have another offensive pressure, then Omega you have a good defensive pressure. Metagross can be both of them, and. It's more versatile overall. I think, that, by the way, I prefer uh, Metagross over Klefki here. Because Klefki is more passive than Metagross. So this is for the core level 2, a bit more complex. Like, we, here we didn't care at all about uh, the classic typing core, you know. We cared about what you want in your draft. And now we will talk about the core level 3, which is Garchomp, Golden Gold, Toxapex. And don't worry, maybe you see something, but this is level 3 for a reason, so this is an extremely strong core in 9G, I think. I drafted it once, I tried to draft it, but after a while I switched it for something else, but 
won't explain more, but really good core. Uh, Golden Go removes Hazard, Toxapex is the best Toxic Spikes setter, uh, Garchomp is really good uh, Rock and Spikes user now, really good offensive presence, really good core. But now you can pause the video. Yeah, so this core is also very good because it's a core for a balanced team uh, we, which we kinda cover in the core level 1 but core level 3 here is more difficult and there is a trap, that's why it's level 3 you see Garchomp Golden Go, so Dragon Steel type you think you would want a Fairy type but no, you do not want to pick, to pick your Fairy type here maybe I will explain why later uh, no, I will explain some examples you could pick but you do not want to pick it. The thing you will want to pick here is something like a Zapdos Galar. Why? Because you have Golden Go plus Toxapex. So th with this two mon, the opposing fairy type. Look at the matchup of the opposing fairy type. <coughs> you can take any fairy type, it will have a bad matchup against your draft. Basically. Cliffable? Eh! Useless! You have Toxapex plus Golden Go. Gardevoir Mega is good! But Payapa Berry, Toxapex, OHK it with Gunk Shot, so not that good actually. Sylveon? Eh, Sylveon does nothing. Like, if, 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 if you don't want to use some set, you want to be useful, it will need like... Uh, it's Fairy Move, a Psychic Move, or a Thunderbolt, or an Electric Move, and a Fire Move, or a Shadow Ball. For Gandego, so free offensive move for the opposing fairy type. So not all of the opposing fairy type have them. For example, Florges don't have the free. Uh, Atterini don't have the free. Doesn't have the free. And he can't see wave you. He can't do nasty stuff against you. And if he brings a free offensive move, your draft can be prepared against it. And if he brings the free offensive move you have a Garchomp and you have a Zapdos Galar who will destroy the offensive team because if the opposing fairy type is offensive he will not be defensive and Garchomp and Zapdos Galar will both profit easily from it and if he's defensive he doesn't do anything against Golden Go or Toxapex anyway so that's why you want something like Zapdos Galar a dumb mon really good mon by the way but it's a dumb mon that will just you will use him like Scarfer or Bander don't care about anything else just Scarf or Bandit, maybe Life Orb, and click Brave Bird, U-Turn, Brave Bird, U-Turn, Thunderous Kick, Thunderous Kick, Thunderous Kick, Thunderous Kick. Just click moves with it. Don't think. Don't think at all. <laughs> also, I prefer Zapdos Galar over the two options I have below, due to Defiant. And you can get a strong uh, Defiant buff due to Defog, because your opponent will want to Defog Rock, will want to Defog Toxic Spikes. Other options are Minshao, so Minshao, same thing as Zapdos Galar, just click moves. Minshao is good here because it's a regenerator core with uh, Toxapex, which can be useful in some matchup. And last one is uh, Iron Juglis, which is exactly the same thing but on the especially offensive side. You just click Dark Pulse, Dark Pulse, Dark Pulse, Dark Pulse, Dark Pulse, and you turn sometime. So you will install a lot of pressure on the opposing fairy type. And you can exploit this weakness with your draft. That's why it's a level 3 core, because exploiting during the draft process the potential weakness of your opposing team, of your opposing draft, is really difficult. And that's why taking a fairy type here is a trap. Another mine I will bring here is Celebi. Celebi, why? Because it's one of the mons that is very versatile but very weak to your turn. So Celebi, Zarude works. Uh, also, they are resistant to the ground type move that you are that you have for now no answer to. Because Toxapex and Goldego are weak to weak. So Celebi is a good bring. U turn on, same thing. Setup via uh, versatility. Really good versatile mon. You want him in this draft. It's good. Also another set of, uh, stealth worker, I said it, yeah, sorry. Lastly, well, obviously, a fairy type is still good. I will not recommend it, but it's still good. And the only fairy type I would recommend picking here 
is Togekiss. There is also Enamorus and Enamorstarian for those who play with them. But override just pick a low tier fairy type. It's okay, it's okay. You have answer, you will have answer to the opposing dragon type anyway, it's okay. But why? It's because if you look at the other fairy type, well, Cliffable is good, but it will probably be, pick, be picked. Grimmsnarl is not that good here, Ninetazela is not that good. Primarina is not good because you already have Toxapex. Uh, Guard of Omega will be picked, so <laughs> I don't think about it. And yeah, a lot of those good fairy type, like Primarina, Screamtail is not good here. Well, Screamtail, I will explain, uh, maybe not explain why it's not good. Well, maybe. It's because Screamtail is not good because you do not want. Uh, Goldengo is because yeah overall Goldengo is weak to Shadow Ball and weak to um, uh, Dark Pulse and if you want a fairy type you want a fairy type that resists Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball for Goldengo which Scrimtail does not do so that's why you don't want Scrimtail by the way and also you don't want Guard of Omega yeah, sorry Tapu Bulu could be a bring but not that good I wouldn't say it's a good bring here so that's why the only option is Togekiss or an Amorus. A flying type, very versatile, kinda good mod, but yeah, just take like a Dash Boon or a Slurpuff or you know, a low tier fairy type or Whimsicott. Whimsicott is really good here. Within Galar, no, not within Galar, no, sorry. I'm looking at the team builder at the same time, you know, the tier list. Not the tier list, but what fairy type have I? Yeah, Comfy is good, Diancy is good. Yeah, just pick a low tier fairy type, it's fine. Don't pick a high one, pick. Uh, pick a Zapdos Galar. <laughs> Basically, pick a strong wall breaker. Last score, so this score is level 4. There is a reason for it. It's very difficult to do a good draft with it. I explained a bit it's Lopni Mega, Thunderous Incarnate, and Volcarona. So, Freemon with momentum, Freemon with uh, Power Up Punch, Nasty Plot, and Quiver Dance, so with setup option. Freemon's really fast, so it's a fast offensive draft. It's not an hyper offense draft. <laughs> don't be fooled. You don't want to have this against you. <laughs> it's really, really strong, but it's also really, really hard to do a draft around them. And I've seen a lot of people failed, fail this. So you can pause the video now. We will discuss it later. Okay, so as I explained before, it's a very good core, very good offensive core, who basically revolves around uh, momentum, so offensive momentum. So if you have the offensive pressure on your opponents, and if you're the same level of player, obviously, you will win. If you lose at some point during the game the offensive pressure, you will probably lose the game. So this core, you want to have good momentum option and what I would recommend here is or form so why or form first it's a steel type with momentum you see the other two options I have below so Jirachi Iron Threads also have momentum and are also steel type <coughs> why steel type it's because you don't really need a lot more offensive pressure you already have them in the three months that we have here and you do not want to go for an hyper offense and so you will want a mon that is more defensively focused. Orf form and any steel type is good in this category because it can tank a lot of it, like for example fairy type, rock move, uh, grass move, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff. Steel type are known for this. And off from its momentum move is Shed Tail, who goes very well, extremely well by the way, with Volcarona and Thunderous. Volcarona behind the Shed Tail is extremely strong. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, by, by the way, if our form doesn't have uh, Shed Tail in your draft, don't pick it ever. You want momentum, you want bulky mon who have momentum. Also, a steel type because most of the times I have rocks, so you can set up rocks and then bring back the momentum, the offensive momentum. Rocks are really important here because you do not want the opponent to have a sash or a sturdy mon active. Uh, so you want to break up this sash, this potential sash. The other option are Jirashi, so Jirashi also very good. 
quite fast too, it's not really that slow, but it's more about keeping momentum. You can play him Scarf too, by the way, it's really good here. And as Healing Wish to bring back like Volcarona or Lopunimega or Thunderous to the field. Iron Threads, kind of the same thing. Steel type, with rocks, with momentum. Can tank some hits. It's good, it's good. <laughs> you want this type of mon with this free mon, with this free first mon, you want a mon that will take some hits and bring back momentum afterwards. Another option here would be like Sloking Galar. So Sloking Galar is really good because Shilling Snow, because Teleport. So strong defensive uh, momentum, uh, so strong slow momentum to bring back like Thunderous E with uh, Volt Switch or Open Mega with Future or stuff like that. And also Toxic Spike Remover. You really need one. And I think Sloking Galar does the best at this job. Toxic Spikes because of Volcarona, because of Open Mega, because if you don't have Toxic Spikes on the field, uh, you don't need to have Volcarona Boots, and Volcarona No Boots is so much stronger than Volcarona Boots. And yeah, it doesn't resist everything that is resisted by the Steel type, so for example it resists Fairy Move, but it doesn't resist Rock types, but it resists other things on the other side, like for example Fighting Move. Well, you don't really need a Fighting Move resist, but still can be useful sometimes. Last option is the Primarina, so exactly the same stuff. Bulky Mon <laughs> can tank some hits. Uh, flip turn, so momentum. Here it's kind of slow momentum, and has an offensive pressure, an offensive presence. That's all you want. You only want Mon who have momentum. Mon who have momentum are needed. Primarina here does not resist like Fairy type move, but resists Water move, so kinda good too and uh, yeah if by the way if you manage to do a good draft with this three send send me it I will see but it's really uh, hard to do so good luck good luck and yeah so this is the end of the video uh, I hope you liked it also yeah the fourth pick here for uh, the core of Zigard, Bulu, Itran is Tentacruel it's been scientifically proven that Tentacruel is the best fourth pick here don't argue <laughs> and yeah if you had any different opinion or different stuff uh, you would like to say say it in the comment down below we will discuss it uh, and uh, yeah i hope to see you for another vid sometimes and uh, bye it was kilimina sorry <laughs>